We're going to make a quick video today about have you ever thought about using your gutter for an antenna? We're at the new QTH here, getting moved in. We're getting there. Looks pretty good on this side. This side over here is still looking a little bit rough. Got some painting to do, stuff like that. But anyway, I was out here playing antenna and playing radio one day and it dawned on me that uh well on that day i was using a uh infed half wave and i was doing some testing and while i was doing that testing i thought that you know i wonder if my gutter would make an antenna you see these YouTube videos where people have used their gutter on their house as an antenna with uh, somewhat mixed results from what I watched. But I thought, you know, I'm out, I'm, out, uh, I'm out here and I've got the equipment set up. I've got the un, -un out here. I got my antenna analyzer set up. Why not hook up to the gutter? So I hooked up to the bottom of this gutter right here. Well, first thing I did was test continuity from the bottom of this gutter all the way up, across, and down the other side. And I had continuity all the way from one end to the other. So I thought, you know, this will be interesting. We'll see what happens. So I thought, let me feed this thing like an infed half wave. So what I did... I came over here and I hooked up to the base of this gutter right here with my antenna analyzer to see what I would get. And oh, before we get too far, let me also say stay tuned to the end of this video and there will be some interesting information about noise. I've been trying to reduce noise for some time. And at the end of the video, there will be a, a special note about noise uh, and such as that. It'll be interesting, so stick around. But anyway, I hooked my antenna to the base of that gutter right there. And when I started reading it on 40 meters, the imp I don't remember exactly what the impedance was but it was somewhere near two ohms and i thought man that's crazy low what is causing that to be near two ohms then it dawned on me that i was using actually using a, a 64 to 1 un, un and i got to thinking if i remove that un, un and hooked it up like a regular antenna using radials what would i get so that's what I did. I took a uh, connector and I connected the center pin of the connector to the base of the gutter. I had about, uh, actually there's about two feet of wire between the connector and the base of the gutter. That's where I hooked up my antenna analyzer. And when I did that and put some radials on there, I had a perfect resonance with broad bandwidth around 7.2 megahertz. So it appeared that without much effort at all, I could use this gutter as an antenna because it resonated fine with the antenna analyzer. I hooked it up to the radio and the radio was happy with it too. SWR was almost one to one so i got it all set up and if you're not familiar with it there's a net called the band of brothers where they do seven meter uh, antenna and audio testing monday through thursdays if you haven't been there check it out they have a facebook page too but anyway so i hooked everything up when the net started uh i threw out my call sign they responded and 
although the, and the gutter had a perfect resonance, the uh, signal report was 5-3. So not too good. That was 5-3 to the station that's about 200 miles from my QTH. There's another station about 400 miles away. He couldn't copy me at all. Then there's another station about, oh, 600 miles away, and he couldn't copy me at all. So, although it was resonant on 40 meters, and everything looked good, uh, the efficiency of the trying to use a gutter of an ant is a antenna just is not there. There's, uh, it's, it's not efficient at all. So, uh, that was a, a interesting note. The loaded 40 meter that I use, this right here, let me see if I can get it to you. This loaded uh, extension that I have for my 20 meter antenna that I, I squeeze a 20 meter antenna on top. I get a 5.7 with it from the, the Band of Brothers net where with the gutter, as I said, I only got a 5.3. Uh, anyway, so very interesting. It's not very efficient trying to use a gutter as an antenna. You can do it, but it's not the best thing to use. All right, and let's see here. Oh, I promised a, a side note on noise. So I had been working on noise prior to this, trying to reduce noise uh, on my reception. Tried a lot of things, put chokes on a lot of things, and I found something really interesting. Now, I know some people are going to say, I shouldn't do this, but my radio room is on the second floor. So what I have to do, I run my coax up the side of the gutter and then come across and it goes into the shack right there. So it's a very short run. Uh, it's probably not optimal. Some people are going to say I shouldn't run it like this, but you know, if you have a wife that'll let you put your radio room in either the kitchen or the living room, God bless you. She's a fine thing, but mine said it's not going to happen. So anyway, I have my coax running to the shack, going up to the second floor and going right in there. It's right inside that room. Well, I got to thinking as I was working on noise, if this and if this gutter is resonant on 40 meters is this causing me a noise problem so what i did i went right here and i put a just a small ground wire on the gutter and i ran that ground wire down to a two foot piece of copper pipe that i drove into the ground right here it's, uh, it's attached to this copper pipe right here. And uh, when I did that, it reduced my noise on 40 meters by somewhere between one half and one S unit. So it turned out that this gutter was causing me to have noise on my coax. Uh, co common mode currents, I guess. And, uh, and I had choked it already at the radio and at the antenna. So anyway, the gutter was still causing me noise. So if you run into a situation like that, you never know if something adjacent to your cable is causing a noise. Uh, that ground may not be the so-called appropriate ground by the electrical code, but hey, 
it was connected to nothing before and it only runs across the back of the house so it works and we're going to stick with it for the time being anyway i thought that was interesting so if you ever think about using a gutter for an antenna you may run into some efficiency problems now one interesting note i was sharing this finding with a guy in my ham radio club and he was saying that he had a neighbor they lived in a hoa he had a neighbor that was trying to put up an antenna and the hoa wouldn't let him well he tried to, his neighbor tried to use the antenna as a excuse me tried to use the gutter as an antenna without a lot of success so what he did he removed the metal gutters replaced them with plastic gutters and ran his antenna wire up the gutter as uh to be used as his antenna and it was st stealth nobody knew it was there so that's a thought too i don't think i'll ever try that uh, i've got other options here but uh, i didn't think to mention that the gutter on my house itself in, di in length is probably about a three-quarter wave for 40 meters so anyway just gee whiz information if you like this uh, video share it with somebody if you think it'll help either with uh, the possibilities of a gutter antenna or dealing with noise grounding the gutter to reduce noise which it did in my case so anyway, if you like this video, subscribe, share it with somebody if you think it'll help. And until then, here's one more view from the new QTH. About a thousand feet above sea level. And signal reports to Europe are uh, much better than they were in my flatland QTH that I left. Anyway, if you haven't seen the video about this antenna right here, this dipole, go check it out. But anyway, until next time, take it easy. Adios.